Hello everyone, my name is Pierluigi and I'm part of the Filo Connesso community. First of all, I want to thank uh, Arduino for the invitation and for giving us the, this opportunity to talk about our latest project. Our latest project is called Terra and it is a, a smart terrarium. Briefly, these are the topics that I will cover in this presentation. We start with the main feature of Terra, Terra for schools. I will show you the first prototype, Terra and Arduino. And with the final slide, our thanks and contact information. Terra was designed with three main features in mind. We wanted it to be smart, connected, and autonomous. Smart because Terra is equipped with multiple sensors, including air and soil humidity sensors, temperature sensors, external humidity and temperature sensors, light level sensor, and CO2 sensor. With the acquisition of uh, this data, Terra can be implement various control algorithms and find the best formula for your ecosystem. Also, it's connected because Terra was as a, a Wi-Fi connection that allowed you to keep track of uh, its operating status at all times. And finally, autonomous, because Terra has uh, a, an automatic air recycling system to control the internal environment, but at the same time, it can isolate the entire ecosystem from the external environment. Also, the internal ecosystem can be illuminated by an automated artificial light source. And also, Terra can uh, Terra has uh, a small water tank to maintain the desired level of internal humidity. Terra can be an educational tool for schools. Thanks to its technology, students can learn interactively about plant life, ecosystem, and their importance to the environment. In this way, Terra can be used as a, an educational experience for schools, allowing students to learn through end-on experience and data collection. In addition to traditional object-oriented programming, the, the student can also program their terrarium using a block-based programming language. We have built the first prototype of Terra, which you can see in the picture. The, this prototype covers 95% of all the features we have shown you in the previous slide. For example, we have not yet selected the CO2 sensors and also the external humidity and temperature sensor. From software side, from software side, we have already developed a library that allows us to start using Terra feature and start the first test of Terra. If you are here, you already know perfectly well the potential and the performance of the GIGAR1 Wi-Fi. This new product from Arduino is perfect for the Terra project. A single board has made it possible to meet all of Terra's requirements. For example, having on the same board an USB host in host mode, Wi-Fi connection, non-volatile external memory, various digital communication interfaces like e, e quadro C, SPA, UART, OneWire, many GPIO av available, and the ability to use a real-time operating system like Embed OS. Today, we have the first prototype and our roadmap is to arrive at this year's Make and Fair Room with a new prototype ready. This new prototype will have all the hardware we have shown you in the previous slide. A new mechanical design project looking for a stylish design product and dictionary the cloud platform for managing Terra will be developed.
we are at the end. Thank you for your attention and thanks again for Arduino for the invitation. Filo Connexo is a, an Italian community present on several social media platforms, especially on YouTube, where you can see all the activities related on this project and others. If you have any question about Terra, do not hesitate to contact us. Ciao! Thank <laughs> you.